that it's not stagnant. Yeah. Your life has a cycle, mm -hmm. and you go through different periods where different things are happening, and you value different things. You need to match up your career objectives with your life cycle, which is something that was not even possible in a world of a traditional career. Right. You did what you did. You were promoted when you were promoted. But you have events in your life. You have marriages. You have children. You have illness. You have hobbies you love. Mm -hmm. And what you want to do is to take a longer view mm -hmm. and look at your life and what you want to accomplish in your life as a whole, mm -hmm. and then look at your career mm -hmm. and put them together mm -hmm. and figure out what it is you want from your career at different points in your life. And by right. the way, just because it looks a certain way on day one doesn't mean three years later it's, it's going to look the same. same. It's a constant process. Right. And you know, you want to use different kinds of resources because mm -hmm. this is hard. Right. You want to go to your friends and your colleagues. You want to go to kind of services that Stanford has. Mm -hmm. I know they have great... Stanford has actually you know, some, some excellent services. Right. Um, and I'll, I have a good example of a friend that he it was he was a career independent uh, or career management consultant. Uh, very successful career. He loved his work. He, after a few years, a number of years, it, the work and his lifestyle were just, it's kind of to your point, there was a, he was at a different stage in his life and it didn't work anymore. So he undertook this path of trying to figure out what it was that he wanted and it is hard because you, you someone say, you, you know what you want. That's a really hard question to, to ask yourself. So we actually did turn to Stanford and Stanford has this great, um, it's called the Career and Life Visioning Workshop out of the yeah. business school. And he did that and there was a number of self-assessment tools and from, do, from, from going through this process, he was able to tease out what it was that he really wanted. And as a result, he actually switched careers into financial management. So I, I interrupted you there, but that no, was... No, but I, yeah. think, I think the really important point is this is new. Yeah. The idea that we have the ability to think about our careers and match it up with our life right. is something that is impossible in a very traditional, old-style career. Right. So this is, a, this is an opportunity, right. and it's a way in which every individual has now a choice. And you've got to be realistic, too. If you say, I want to be the CEO of a Fortune 500 company or a, a high growth venture company, you know, you've got to understand what it means to do those uh, particular jobs and whether, in fact, you can make it mesh with whatever else you want to do. So right. it, it's a hard exercise, but it's the foundation to any career pivot. You have to know where you're, you're trying to That's go right. to and what you want.